All right, guys, we're back, and today we are going to be installing a new wireless module in this 2016 GMC Sierra. Now, for those of you don't, that don't know, GM came out with a service bulletin, and the number is 18-NA-153, and this addresses uh, different vehicles, uh, Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, and GMC, uh, anywhere from 2015 it looks like up to about 2018 so if you have one of those vehicles that you have a phone that does not charge when you lay it here on the uh, charging pad or if it's intermittent sometimes it charges sometimes it doesn't then you need to take a look at this service bulletin and there's also a, a GM wireless charging device list that will tell you the year make and model of the vehicle and what phones it will charge um, I don't see a document number on this, but if you just search for GM wireless charging device list, uh, it should pop up. Same with the service bulletin. Just search for 18-NA-153, and it'll pop up on the internet, and it goes through. It also gives you the rundown of the uh, cars, tells you all about it, gives you the part number of the module, although this is, uh, this is an old part number. This service bulletin came out in 2018. And there's an updated part number I'll show you here in just a minute. And depending on the vehicle, now in this truck, all you need is just the module itself. But depending on the vehicle, you may have to order a bracket uh, or and or the liner uh, pad. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'll show you how easy it is, but before we do, here's the part number of the new latest and greatest module. And what you get if you order this part number is you're going to get an adapter cable, little pigtail, plugs into your factory harness and then plugs into the new module. Don't ask me why they couldn't have just made a new module with the proper connector. And then you're going to get the module. And if you're interested, if you hang out toward the end of this video, I'm going to take this module apart and take the original apart. And we're going to take a look and see what the difference is, what makes this a better module that, that works better. Now before we get started, I want to show you what the problem is here. Okay, now I have an S9 phone. And if you set it here on the charging pad, you will see that it starts charging no problem. Mine works every time. This is a Samsung S9. Now, if you have, this is an S20, which is uh, a newer phone than the S9. When I set it on the charging pad, it does not charge. So that's what we're going to fix here. Is uh, hopefully this new module will make it to where this S20 will will start charging. And again, that was the S20. Uh, new iPhones won't charge. Now this also this uh, S9, I've got the case on it. That S20 didn't even have a case. And as you can see, there it is charging. And the S9 works every time. Every time I set it on here, it'll, it'll charge. The S20, the S20 has charged before, but here lately, it does not charge. So let me get the camera set up and we're gonna get this module swapped out. I'll show you how easy and quick it is. All right guys, so here we are. Got the console open. And all I'm going to use is just a uh, plastic trim tool. I'm going to get up underneath here. We're going to get the corner started. And then after that, it should be pretty easy. Just kind of, if you keep some pressure frying out as you pop it off, then it should, should kind of come off. And all it is is just these, these metal clips that hold that on. Now here's the factory one. Um, you need a T15 Torx to take this off, but actually what I was wanting to do was measure the current that this one draws and the new one, just to see if the new one will charge any faster. So what I'm going to do to do that, um, I'm going to 
pull these wires back right here. That way I can get a uh, an amp clamp on that black wire. So let me go get an amp clamp set up, and we're going to see how much current this draws. Okay, so what I got is I've got a uh, got a multimeter. And my amp clamp. So we are going to get her hooked up to this black wire. I'm going to zero it. And hopefully you can see that. I'm going to close the. And we're going to put my phone on it, let it start charging. And we'll see how much current it draws. Okay, that's about 600 and about 630 uh, milliamps. So a little over half an amp. That's what that's drawing. And we're going to check the uh, the new one once we get it put in. Okay, so right now let's go ahead and get this unscrewed. T15 Torx Okay, so there's the old one Here's the new one and the cool thing about this, uh, you know, there's all kinds of laser etching on this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but right here it says connection. Connection and use of this communications equipment is permitted by the Nigerian Communication Commission. Thank God for that, because I would not want to use something that was not permitted by the Nigerian Communications Commission. And this is how easy it is to swap this out. Now this is a, there's, di there's, there's different companies that actually make a uh, charging module. But what I like about this is this is actually a GM product. Um, so here we got the uh, little jumper. I'm going to plug it in. And now let's check and see. Uh, where are we at? Where's our clamp? Okay, need to zero it. Throw the phone up here. There it goes. Okay, so roughly about the same, about 620, 610 millivolt, a little over half an amp, so we didn't gain much. Now, depending on the phone, now this, this phone is going through the case. You know what? Let me take my case off. We'll just see if, it, if that makes a difference for those of you that may or may not care about that. Eh, doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. Still about half an amp.
Now, to uh, get this tape pulled back up here. Get this wire tucked away. This is how I'm going to do it. You just want to make sure that you're not going to cover up this slot right here. So once the wires are all routed the way you want. And there she is. We are done. Let's make sure that the S9 charges. And there it goes. Let me go grab the S20. It's in the house. Now the S20, the one that would not charge on the original uh, charging module. And there it goes. So, if you have a phone, uh, newer Samsung, newer iPhone, that you're not having any luck charging on your 2015 to 2018 GM vehicle uh, order you one of these modules and that should get you fixed up anyway that's it for this video you guys take care and remember if you want to see the difference between both modules the internal uh, coils watch the end of this video you guys take care see you in the next one